Just we've seen him doing this all the same right now. Uh, I can't see your request right now. I'll try and bring somebody else. Okay, that didn't work. Try and bring you. <coughs> hey, what's mm -hmm. up? Just wanted to say hi from London. Working on a painting, so I thought I'd just share the blessings. Where's she from? Ethiopia. <laughs> oh. huh. are, you, are you from, um, are you Rasta? I'm not, but I'm Caribbean. Where are you from? I'm from Which Saint Lucia. Part? Saint Lucia, but I live in London now. How is it but the difference? in London to living in St. Lucia? It's a big difference, you know, because, you know, in the Caribbean, everybody grew up friendly. You know your neighbors, you know your friends. Wait, let me just keep working while we can talk. So you, you get to know the people around you. Whereas in the UK, you know, everybody's on their own hustle, on their own vibe, and no one really gives a shit about you. So you just got to put your head down, work. And get on it. You know, the Caribbean community in a London, though. Yeah, but most of them are real bad minding, so you know, I just keep to myself. Well, I can't say that because I live in well, I lived in London. Um, what part? Yeah, in Labrador Grove. Okay, I know there. And not for the people them cool, especially. Um, like when I travel around and just see different people, there's a big Caribbean community in a Brixton, and uh, there's lots of good Ito food places down there. So you go down there and you know go to the community center, go to the um, the, the black bookstore, and go to the shop and you know there's a, there's a good community. You just have to look for it. You can't just look. You can't just look in in the you know if you just look in the projects where people are living and struggling, then yeah. you're not. Gonna beauty as when you go to the market and when you go to the bookstore and you go to the there are lots of pan-african events in london as well where are you from originally i was born in barbados but my family is mainly jamaican okay i know barbados well yeah i've only Ooh. been there for you don't even know how I've only been there the first time since I was born last year. The Prime Minister invited me. You should visit. You should visit San Lucia. That's where the real vibe is. I'm telling you. Sure. The real vibe is <laughs> push over the vibe. The a big statement. Now. Over I'm Jamaica. A big child. <laughs> I don't like Jamaica. I go there often, but I don't know. There's something about there. I know. Jamaicans will come and attack me and tell me this and this. It just make me feel a bit like not safe. But yeah, that's just me when personally. You... Don't come and don't come for me, Jamaicans. That's just how I feel. <laughs> I, I, don't when you go country, the vibe is nice. You you ever go Cane River or you ever go like um like or you ever go um. Uh, what a place now that's really nice. Um, nine mile. You ever go to, to the grill? To be honest, my opinion will be biased because I go for work, so I mainly go in like Kingston, Kingston. which is the main city. Well, obviously, you know that. So, my opinion will be biased based on that. 
points. But yeah, uh, I heard Jamaica is beautiful, so I would like to explore it more. Who's laughing at me? <laughs> Well, I told you they would come for me. I told you they'd come for me. When you have a chance to go to, there's a, a raster man who runs a place called Oracle's Organics in Brixton, in uh, the Summer Layton Market, or they call it the Brixton Village now. The Europeans have come and colonized it. Go and has, have his Ital sip. He's Jamaican and um, reason with him. He's a long time Italist. He has a colon cleanse, you have the kidney cleanse, the liver cleanse, blood cleanse, and real good food. Go and reason with him and where else you can go to eat and where you can find a bookstore and all them things there. And he'll put you onto something. He he gave me this. Nice. So, you know. I told you the Jamaicans would come for my fruit. <laughs> well, people, nationalism, nation statism, patriotism, people are going to defend what they've been taught to defend from earlier. The Jamaica... And they play the national anthem. They play the national anthem before you even watch a movie in the cinema. Yeah, it's true. Like I said, my opinion was biased because I haven't explored Jamaica. I haven't been there. So that's just my experience of being there. I'm not saying Jamaicans like that. And I wasn't putting the camera on my face only because I've been up all night. And, you know, I don't want to be out in these streets looking <laughs> dusty. But anyway, nice talking. Have a good night. Nice to finally talk to you. I like your lives. Keep, help yeah, me stay up. keep working on the Empress there. Well, take it easy. Mm. It's like Capo and say, I know Ethiopia, my home, I know. I love Ethiopia. I go there often. So I'm to this talk now. There's just enough island people in here. Hold on. Peace. Else from island. Huh? I said you're from an island. I am. I am. You guys have me missing my home. Where? Dominica. The nature Dominica. island. Yeah. The, big, the biggest indigenous population. Exactly. Exactly. I've just been actually learning about them more from this guy on Twitter. And um, he showed some pictures of a group of women from the Kalinago tribe. And I went through all of them and they were like all familiar faces. And I pretty much just started crying. It was awesome. I've been connected with my ancestors. So it was a pretty special moment. Yeah, a lot of people fled to, to that island as well from from the other islands because the Europeans was doing what they was doing and uh, they kind of had that as their last safe haven, their last safe refuge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think, um, what was it, the Spaniards? They came, they escaped from Martinique and they went up to the southeast mm -hmm. coast. That's where my family is from, that southeast area. So hence why we like rights. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, you're not there, right? No. I am currently Why? in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. My. I've been here for most of my life, though. I just, I've been here too long. Why? I'm saying try and get back. I know, I know. It's. I think I want to try to get somewhere else besides DA, because there's a lot going on, and my mom's plugged with a bunch of people and there's a lot of, you know, reputation thing. And I'm in a spiritual industry, the work that I do and whatnot. So it's kind of a little taboo. Maybe some of my what's own the, things. What's the work that you do? I... This thing is just cutting out. Request again, I'll bring you forward. Sometimes you're just dashing out people. People don't, yo, don't act like it's me dashing out people. If I dash out people, I stand on it and be like, yeah, man, I dash you out. It's because every time the live go up, 
past 300, they don't, they kick you out because it gets onto the explore page and you don't want that. I don't know how because my thing is private. Hello, Chaka. Wagwan, you can hear me? Yeah, I'm going to be done with this live now, bro, guys. It's like I just try to bring people, try to bring people, try to bring people, and it doesn't want to work. No only fruit grows on the islands and by the coast. Yo, Wagwan. Nope. Yes, rain is falling out here. Hey. Yo, what? can you hear me? See if this this one's going to work with this product because it's worked before. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, I'm in Thailand. Wagwan, well, my G. Yeah, man, there. Wagwan. Well, I wanted to talk to you about crystals. About crystals? Because yeah, I can see that you bust a lot of crystals in it, and I, and I bust a lot of crystals. As well, well, I wear my crystals because I'm a Taurus. Mm. So I wear the what, do, what? What about crystals? Well, I can. I, I, well, I see on your shop as well that you've got crystals. Yeah, but you haven't got enough that I need because I've got. I've got lords in it. <laughs> I collect a lot of crystals as well in it. So, I, like, I deal with crystals a lot. Crystal energy as well. So the, do you deal with the crystal energy? Do you believe in the crystal energy like that? And obviously you're drinking it like that, but I'm saying, do you, do you carry yours for your star sign as well, innit? Um, the thing about star sign is this. Ethiopia right now is in 2012. I was in Ethiopia for their New Year's celebration, which is on September the 10th, September the 11th, right? Yeah. They go on an Orthodox calendar. Europeans have us on a, on a Gregorian calendar. So what I'm looking at now is when I'm looking at the stars and how they're moving, they're not even moving in, in a synchronicity with the calendar that we're on. The calendar that we're on is based on capitalism. It's based on Julius Caesar adding his month of July. It's based on Augustus adding his month of August. Right? In the Gregorian calendar, the in the Ethiopian calendar, there's 13 months, right? So w the astrology that our, our ancestors were dealing with that created star signs, right? Before the Greeks, before the Romans, we're off that astrology, the comedic astrology, we're not on it properly anymore. So when people tell me, say, oh, I'm a Capricorn. People tell me, say, oh, I'm a Taurus. I'm a this, I'm a that. I'm like, are you? What was the stars doing when you was born? And not just when you were born, what were the stars doing when you were conceived? Because by the time you come out of your mother's uh, uh, temple, you are already nine months old. But we say that that's the birth. You understand? The birthday and the name is ceremony is supposed to be at conception, not birth. So I have crystals around me that I know protect, but I can't necessarily elect crystals based on my star sign because I don't believe in it that way. I believe in it, but I don't believe in it on that system. You understand? Yeah, you understand. Yeah, man, we understand what you're saying. Yeah, I do that same thing as well. I use the ones that I feel anyway. So when I walk into a crystal shop, if it doesn't pull some energy towards me or something, then I don't deal with it anyway. Because I, I, mm. I deal with whatever I'm feeling in it. So if I'm picking the energy up, and, and I know that that does that certain energy. If I can't feel that, then I don't deal with that crystal. Mm -hmm. But I deal with it like that. I, I understand what you're saying. I hear that. 
and I like that one actually. So just that resonate with you and get the ones that, that you know what they do. You know what um, Tourmaline does. You know what Quartz does. You know what Selenite does. Get the ones that you know that you need. And when they feel like when I hold Selenite stick, it gets hot, like it's powerful. Yeah, right? yeah. Whereas I, I'm a and it stay cool. So it resonates with you and your electromagnetic energy. You know, and so you get the ones that are powerful for you because some things that you have, you won't be able to wear around your neck because it won't protect you or hurt you. And other things will protect, you, make your vibe higher. And um, I think you have to be subjective as well as objective. So you have to use your melanin to work out what vibe with you and then rock that. Uh, I, I do that because some people say to me, oh, you shouldn't wear all like, crystals here this is together or put them this and that and like and i say listen my crystals are mine they do for me they don't do for what they do for you they do what they do for me in it so i can put this one together with this one because i can rock it like that because that's what works for my thing in it that's what energy and stuff i need around me so that's why i put them like that mm. thing, like, don't I, worry I, 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 I'm gonna I, come. I have a lot of things like i have my shungai i've had shungai for a long time a person to me this mm. these ones long. I've had big. I've got a bigger one, big, big one at home. But this is one because obviously I'm in Jamaica. I carry a lot with me as well. In it, I carry certain ones with me. They're on my neck all yeah. the time. I always carry mine around. I've always got my jade around my neck as well. In it, I've got all like different shades of jade and stuff. And I always, mm. I always carry certain ones with me. I've got a load of them that I've just lying around. Like when I sit around, I put them all like all over. Like I've got other all over here. I just, mm. I just have the one just placed around me and thing like that and just sit in the Don't sit, worry. sit on my veranda Don't. enjoy the Jamaican tweeting birds and the little grasshoppers and thing and get the vibe mm -hmm. in there get me <laughs> yeah the, um, the crystal store is coming soon so don't worry about that okay I was waiting for you to do something like that because I don't really hear you talking too much about it but I see you with them I see you with them in it and I see your stuff around you, and obviously all your tuning forks and your rolling stuff that you're rolling. I've got, I've got all them type of things. I've got a nice roll. I, you see your rolling one. I've got a round ball that I just roll on my face. I, I did have my rolling one. I left that one at home. So now I just use my, my, my rose quartz raw, raw ball, and I use that one instead. All right. Well, don't worry. Soon it's coming, brother. I'm gonna bring somebody else in. Seeing as this yeah, team wants to stop. What you do in my general, yeah. Yeah, man. Respect, yeah, Chaji. Well, that worked. So let's see. But I've brought him on the live many times before, and I think the connection works strong. Let's try this woman again, see if it works. Nope. Sauce spider, it's not working for you. Wagwan. I'm good. How are you? And here you now. Yeah, man. I'm good. You still there, Thailand? Let's see, it's light where you are. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm I'm getting really frustrated with this place, though. So I'm actually right. thinking of coming south. You thinking of what? Coming south. I'm thinking of coming to one of the islands down south. What is what is frustrating? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I guess um, I'm, I, I, I feel like the energy here just isn't working for me anymore. There's not much to so you do. Want the ocean. What was that? So, so you want the ocean? Yeah, I want to be close to the sea. And also my friend's in Kalapanyang at the moment, so I, I, I want to go and be with her. I, I'm starting to feel really frustrated by my own company. I'm, being stuck with my own thoughts. Um, yeah, like, it's just, it's been a frustrating time. I see that you're well, managing well, though. I'm, I'm surprised that you're still going to the gym because as far as I was um, aware, that all, of, all the gyms have been closed down. 
Yeah, they are closed down, but I get special treatment, you know? Oh, that's why it's always empty. Yeah, it's just I have a relationship with, with um, that now for five years. So when that started happening, I was just like, look, I'm going to keep coming to the gym. They was like, yeah, man, because we need the work. And not only I have been supporting the, the, the gym since the whole lockdown thing happened. So I give them like, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars a week just so they feed their family and just keep going because they're not having no clients no more. They're not getting paid no more, but they live at the gym. So I just go and that's like my extended family. So the only time, the only people that I've actually spent time with since um, basically for four months, uh, three months, is my trainers. Everybody else, I just, I just on my own, you know, just, I like my own company because I'm working on building companies as well. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that. I like my own company too, but I, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with astrology. Maybe it's in the stars, but I've just been feeling like real frustrated. Um, I just want to touch on what you guys were talking about. So you, you touched on astrology and crystals. Um, it's something that I've actually started to look into. Um, I've, I've, I've started to look into the different systems like Vedic, um, sidereal, um, astrology, best Western tropical. So you, you don't think there's any truth in, in any of those systems? Yeah, there's truth in all of them, but these ancient systems are not the systems that we're on now. Horoscopes, for, for a start, they put horror in there. Doesn't make sense, but horoscopes and modern astrology is not spiritual astrology it's commercial capitalist astrology and not on the right calendars in india 2500 years ago there was on a different calendar the calendar that now and their calendar was governed by the stars our calendar now is governed by capitalism so well, that's, different that's, really, that's a system i've started to look into the vedic system but from what I've researched, um, regardless of what the systems are, the, the planets, the meaning of the planets, um, the signs and the way the birth charts are read, because that's a true horoscope. These horoscopes that, that we see in newspapers, that's, that's a load of crap. Um, the meanings are still the same, but they just, um, they, they, they just look at it. So I... I don't, I don't know. The, I, but I the meanings are the same. Been... But the, how, the, sorry, the meanings are the same, but the calculations are off. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. As you, do you know, you're, are you only familiar with your... No, I haven't done any of that yet because when I study things, I like to go into a, 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 a time of permanent study. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Shaka? How are you? Oh, can you hear me? Okay, let's not let me bring in people that I haven't brought in and spoke to before. Um, Yo. Hey. There's a there's like a Hi. feedback. Can you? Is there? Yeah, there's like. You can't hear me. I was me saying I haven't me? been collecting. I haven't been collecting rocks. I've been collecting. Yeah, they're messing with the connection. Hi, 
Yo. Wagwan. Wagwan. Yeah, Mandela. Where are you? I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. It's hot. You know. Hot, hot. Where you so hot. Where are you from? I'm from Phoenix. You're from Phoenix? Yeah, Cali, Phoenix, same. Your family is African American. Yes, my mom is from the Philippines and my dad is uh from the African somewhere. I don't know. He's from Africa somewhere. I mean, I'm American, so you know, I don't know. It's fucked up. I get it. I get it. Um Philippines. Mabuhay. So you say hello in your in your in uh, Tagalog. Tagalog, yeah. How do you know that? Mabuhay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know that? Oh my god. I was dating somebody from the Philippines like four years ago, five years. And you picked up some Tagalog on the way. I mean, she was like, "You have to learn these words." So I was like, right. "That's but right." I've spoken to her for a long time. That's right. She you was like, learn. she was darker than me. It was mad. Like at the time I was studying, I actually there's actually black people in the film. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, you're in Phoenix and I'm in Thailand. Where are you? Right now, I'm here. In Thailand. <laughs> Thailand is on my bucket list. And you're in the Philippines. I mean, you're from the Philippines there right now. I'm Phoenix. I'm from I'm in Phoenix, but I travel for a living. My mother is from the Philippines. I would have been in Thailand if it wasn't for Corona. So what? When the borders them open back up, and and uh, you can travel again, where's the first place you? Morocco. Marrakesh. What? Why? Because you want the architecture. You want the. You want the well, first of all, because I have some dick in Morocco. Boom. And then I'm going to go to Kenya to stay at Giraffe Manor and go on a safari. And then I'll shoot over to the Seychelles and probably Lagos after. And then I'll work my way through Europe and, you know, Thailand, Bali, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. I but mean... my first stop is in Morocco. You have a, you have a, you have a more... I sure do. I don't have no American men. So I'm here suffering right now. But as soon as these borders open up, I'm out. I hear you. Look, I give you some advice. When you do the next lockdown, which is going to be around October, okay, it's not a week. They're going to give you 48 hours. So decide where you want to be. Get okay. Probably... Probably Europe. I feel like anywhere is better than America. Europe? No. Go to an island or go to, to um, Africa. I'll be in Africa. I've only ever been to Nigeria, Morocco, and Egypt. I could go to Nigeria and be straight for a while. Yeah, go to Nigeria. Just get out of the stuck in a place that you don't with no with no dick <laughs> with no dick oh my god i'll try no i really do i think i'm going to move out of the states soon cuz the states is just trash um i was thinking of moving to barcelona barcelona Jet. Barcelona, Barcelona, racist. Don't move there. Really? Mad racist. But everybody 
looks like us. So why would they be racist? Nah, 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 nah. They still have the whole white supremacist thing nonsense. Just because, just because they were uh, colonized by the Moors and given beautiful dark, beautiful hair and beautiful olive skin, doesn't yeah. like they kicked them out in the 14th and there was a war between the Spanish Moors and the Portuguese and the and they kicked them out and they killed off them and they took all of the mosques into churches and that night that's where the temple came from oh my god so really just go back to Africa yeah I love Africa yeah. I don't care I love it there. I want to go to Ghana. I'm just trying to figure out how to go there without getting the yellow fever shot, and then I'll fucking go. This is what you have to do to fever shot. You have to go to your doctor. You're allergic to milk, dairy, and eggs. Right? Well, I'm vegan already, so that's kind of true. Right. So they have aborted um, fetal cells in their human baby cells in vaccine. Also, have to inject yellow fever, and then they inject that too. So, if you're a chicken, eggs, and dairy, they can't inject it for you. Pay you $80 or whatever, they'll give you a, right. a, a yellow fever. But no, yellow fever vaccine. So, do that. Ooh, yes, thank you. Because that's the only reason I, I went to Nigeria, because you have to have a yellow fever for Nigeria. But I kind of like had somebody to like vouch for me and I paid to just kind of bypass the car mm -hmm. for that line. So I got into Nigeria twice without my yellow fever vaccine. So no. I wanted to Ghana, go to Ghana. Ghana's not into bribery like Nigeria. You can't, you have to, you have to do things properly. So you know what I'm talking about, how you could just pay your way in Nigeria. Yeah, of course. I've done it before. Not in Nigeria, but in other places. Yeah, that's what I did in Nigeria. I paid my way. I was like, here, I don't want no yellow fever. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to just say I'm allergic to this, this, this. Let me in Ghana. Yeah. What, what is that you're putting on your face? It's a quartz crystal face roller. You can get it from the vegangiftshop.com. What does it do? It basically um, helps your face to remove waste out of your face. It's like a massage for your face. So it's like um, higher vibration for your face. It, it keeps your skin clear. Ooh, I need one. Yeah, so go in the vegan gift shop and you can get one. I will, I will. Where right. are you at right now? Where am I what? Where are you? I'm in Thailand, in my room. Do you like it in Thailand? Is it like very... Is it very like third worldy? I haven't been there yet. I've been a lot of places, but I haven't been to Thailand yet. No, it's very developed. Really? I heard the airport well, is really bad. Is that true? Hello? Nah, this thing doesn't want to work properly. Everybody say my audio keeps cutting in, cutting out. I don't know why. Yo, tell, I'm not going to bring anybody live for a second. Tell me who's got a good connection, a strong connection. I'll bring you live. She was cool. Yo, sister, I hope that you get your dick appointment in Morocco. People are out here have been sex deprived. I'm not saying me because I'm chosen to be abstinent for a while. Because a man cannot master his highest self till he masters his lowest self. The overstands so I've been getting a lot of things done.
Audio is good now. Until I started talking about Morse. Huh. Wow, why? Hey. How are you? I'm doing better. I've, I've integrated a lot of information. I'm on the other side of the manic, panic, illusion, destruction. <laughs> yep. Good. Yep, yep. I think part of um, life is uh, acknowledging the darkness to then really understand kind of what, what else is happening. And, and then you feel liberated and free when you find that truth, right? Mm. <sighs> like you can't be triggered by the same things anymore. Like the same things that are being fed to us unconsciously. Once you, have, once you make an observation, you have an obligation. Yes, yes. Um, there is definitely more purpose, more so than, you know, what I initially thought, because my, my, you know, box was in healthcare. care. Um, but it's even deeper than that. I mean, it's, it's bigger. The picture is so much bigger in so many ways. Um, and what, I'm working on it. Huh? What do you think about Dr. Buddha? What'd you say? What do you think about Dr. Buddha? Um, I think he's telling some truths. I haven't watched his last um, two hour long interview yet that he did on London Real. I literally just put it on right now because a lot of people are mentioning him. But the clips that I saw on other people's profiles were pretty legit. <laughs> I mean, he's he's just he's talking about facts like how there's like crises actors that are creating material for mainstream media to be utilizing in their giant propaganda scheme against, you know, with this novel coronavirus. And, and um, I mean, just a lot of other things that I didn't know existed, you know, um, coming out in that way, too. Um, and then hmm? What do you think? Um, right. So here's the thing, like, I... And another example is like Dr. Shiva, who's also this person that's being blasted everywhere. Initially, I was like, yeah, he's one of us. Like, he's, you know, uh, speaking some truths, etc. He has an agenda, a political agenda. Yeah, exactly. So um, then I started to notice some other things popping up as, uh, you know, when he's talking or he's like against uh, other people who are trying to, you know, give the same message. And then I'm like, okay. I can't make assumptions or conclusions about anyone at this time. So I, you know, Dr. Buttar, initially, I feel like, oh, okay, he seems like someone who's trying to uh, speak some truths. But you know, the only way I can delineate now um, in an intuitive way is if someone is sending out a message of like hate or spite, or you need to fight these people, or you need to be angry about this, then they are coming from a darker place. Um, mm. that's, that's the only differentiation I can make. And if there's someone who's like, Hey, here's some truth. Here's, um, empowerment for you to understand how you can connect with consciousness and, and your own, uh, you know, individual power and how you can create life and purpose, um, in, in this, in this world, then, then there's, there's a different message here. So that's the only way, um, intuitively that I've been able to, but outside David of Ike and Dr. Butter. I get why they're pissed off because yeah. when you have all of the information for a while, I was pissed off. Now I'm kind of pissed off, but when you have all of the information or a lot of information and you process it and you turn that information into knowledge and you realize what is actually going on, mm -hmm. it's going to, I get that emotionally charged. And a lot of the time we're very reactive to people to listen if somebody's fired up. But if it's for a political campaign, I'm not interested. Right. Right. <laughs> like, like Shiva. Um, I mean, because if you're still triggered, it's still coming from a, a place that's not healed within you. That's just how the universe works, right? And how our, our souls work. Um, but one thing that's helped me is just to recognize that this has been going on since the beginning of humanity to some degree. Um, and I, I really had to look at it from that perspective. And now there's this karmic cleansing, ha cleansing happening. And that's why there's you know, the age of Aquarian happening and the, the truths arising and the you know, dismantling of governments and the old powers that have been in play being taken apart. And by the time 
uh, it's the election in, in America, all of this is going to come out. I mean, there's 44,000 sealed indictments right now <laughs> waiting to be unmasked. And, and I think it's happening this year. I mean, people are scared, like the, the evil, the dark, the, you know, the ones that have been in control and, and brainwashing. They're, they're scared and it's becoming more and more obvious. The censorship is completely blown out right now. And a lot of people are waking up like, like, okay, hey, my civil liberties are being taken away. Hey, I'm not allowed to, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be tracked now and I may have mandatory vaccinations now. Like a lot of people are even, you know, really unconscious ones are, are waking up at this time to like, hey, something's not right here. I'm tired of these European systems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seek, uh, if I have to, I mean, I'm moving there anyway, but if I had to, I'd seek political asylum in Africa. I'm tired. Like, mm. it just doesn't make sense what they're doing and the way that they're doing it if they cared about people. It's like these stimulus packages. So what, you're going to give people stimulus packages. The 5% that don't need it are the ones that are going to get it back in payment for rent, payment for food uh, from the, the corporations that own these big supermarkets. Now it's trying to move to a cashless economy. So... Who is going to run this digital one global digital currency? You're going to have digital certificates that say that you have been tested or you haven't been tested. And I just posted some earlier, Gates talking about vaccines are GMO. I don't inject them. That's mad. <laughs> You're injecting these into a kid. Now he's saying the solution is a vaccine. I don't trust these fuckers not one bit. So no, I'm making at the same time. I'm moving away from all of that. I'll just be... I just be on Instagram in a country, in an African countryside, just like, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the one who owns um, id2020.org or .com, whichever one. I mean, that's the one for digital certificates. 060606. Zero, six, zero, six. Yes, the patent owned the, by, the patent. by Microsoft. It's, it's, it's literally NWO and then 2020. So it's New World Order 2020. And then it's 666. <laughs> I've never learned a patent fucking idea until now, but that one's pretty easy to remember. So fucked up. Um, and, and, you know, just on the medical side, like just scientifically, we are noticing that the antibodies um, that are created after you are ill with this coronavirus aren't even, we don't know how long it takes for the antibodies to build and for people who do test positive for antibodies, it, there's a decline of them. So there's not a sustained um defense in the human body which means that a vaccine wouldn't even work for this so so it's it's so and we haven't been able to make a vaccine in 17 years since the sars virus it's, just, it's the same thing um same family of viruses you know so the idea of this in three months that we've been like you're starting to test on humans in england and, already. and, and it'll be ready by 2021 so they're going to keep everybody <laughs> in 2021 <laughs> And then bring now, it out. This is why America is giving me a little bit of hope because there's so many people already rebelling against this right now. So many people are protesting. And of course, mainstream media is like, look at these idiots who want to, you know, destroy the healthcare system, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, they're doing everything they, they can, but it's giving me some resilience to know like these people are standing up to their rights to some degree, even though they may, they may not have the whole picture in mind. They're like, Fuck you guys, we're American. I mean, it's the first time I've been happy about that type of protest. <laughs> but it's, you I know, mean, now I'm, you uh, know, you know, Trump is actually mad intelligent. And the thing is, is that oh, yeah. a lot of people didn't watch The Apprentice, so they don't know how intelligent he is and what he is in terms of marketing. He's not as intelligent as he could be because he's a megalomaniac. If he just left his dad's money where it was, he would have. Mm -hmm like five to six billion rather than one billion or whatever he says he has he lost a lot of his dad's money but he basically went and said inject yourself with 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 um or put anti yeah put uh antibacterial antiseptics cleaners in your body and people okay. went mad about it and then when you look at the ingredients list of of the same cleaners that he's telling you to put into your body that in the vaccines and his political base, a lot of it, is anti-vaccine. They're mm -hmm. rooting to in redneck, anti-vaccine, anti-abortion. So if he came out and said, if he, if he came out and said, yo, you lot have got to have mandatory vaccines, they will kill him. So he mm -hmm. basically got all these doctors 
to say, yeah, Trump's stupid. Don't inject vaccines into yourself because that doesn't make any sense. And then when he comes out and says, we're not doing vaccines, he's going to say they've got the same ingredients. That's a genius move. It was. It was dude, I mean, it goes even further than that. You know what else? Him saying, you know, we should try to clean out the lungs through an injection. What else that created a conversation around were the ways that we can actually do that through ozone therapy, which has been mm. being shown to help the hypoxia of COVID patients right now because of the lack of oxygen saturation that they have. You know, uh, ventilators aren't working. Ventilators are actually killing people. Killing people. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Because it's meant for people whose lung functionality has been jeopardized. And that's not the case with these people. They're still able to breathe, right? So ozone mm. therapy has been helping people. And then even IV vitamin C is an injecting a disinfectant. It turns into hydrogen peroxide when it's in the body, which is a disinfectant. Um, and mm. also, this company, I mean... It's, it's being censored. They got deleted. It's a publicly traded company called I2 Biosciences. A-Y-T-U. Mm -hmm. Okay. They created mm -hmm. this, this device that uses ultraviolet therapy that can be inserted. Yeah, to inject. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. It was amazing. I was like, and they were, their video got taken off of YouTube. Their uh, Twitter account got deactivated, but it's back now. Um, and it's just, you know, they're supposed to be coming out with some um, findings already of how this A is not dangerous to the mammalian cells or the other healthy cells in the area. And it's completely destroying um, either bad bacteria or coronavirus, I guess. And so he created this well, whole conversation about all of these suppressed alternative therapies too, at the same time. It's great. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, is people a lot of the time don't like to pay attention to what's going on in Africa in terms of medical science, because they're like, it's white people science. We're not listening to what they're doing in Africa. We're not into any of that bush doctor shit. So Africans are just like, we're going to do our own naturopathic cures. And yeah. one's been invented or uh, created in Madagascar and uh, it's actually been rolled out in Senegal now as a naturopathic cure that's based on bitter herbs. There's also another one in Ghana. There's also another one that they're working on right now in um, Nigeria. And it makes me think, well, Good. I'm glad that there's some segregation now because you can practice what you've always practiced rather than just injecting people with the same nonsense that we know is not good. So yeah. it's, I don't know, it's, it's creating an interesting discourse. I mean, yeah, this, this has been the discourse of my last 10 years, literally. I, I am a naturopathic medical doctor. Like, mm. that's why I went into this field. And it wasn't because I, I don't practice medicine. I've created startups. Like, I'm on my fifth one now. Um, to help empower this type of medicine because I found so much truth in it, you know? Um, and I saw so much corruption in the other realm <laughs> on all parts. Like I worked in pharmacies and I saw it didn't, it, what wasn't working there. I saw five-year-olds on antidepressants, on methylphenidates, on Adderalls. I was like, this doesn't make sense to me. And then I worked as a nurse aide and I saw how doctors diagnose people within 10 minutes. And I was like, this doesn't make sense to me. And then I worked for Medicare D, healthcare insurance company. And then I saw thousands of prescriptions from all over the country coming in and what doctors were asking for and what was being denied and what reasons they were being denied. And I literally went to my bosses and I was like, how do you fucking sleep at night? Like this mm. doctor's like, this person's gonna die without this medicine. They've tried 10 other ones, but if it doesn't fit into this drop down menu on my laptop, saying that this is the reason it'll be covered, they still get denied. And I was like, this, and I was at that point, I was like, fuck this all. I never wanted to be a doctor because I thought it was really cliche brown girl thing to do. And I was like, fuck that shit. I'm not going to do that. At that point, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to medical school. I'm figuring this out. And then I'm going to help create a movement. And that's, that's kind of like what my purpose has been in life. And now I'm here. And now I'm, I've realized of the cabal and all the other fucked up things. And it's all coming out. And I really think it's coming out this year. I mean, shit's hitting the roof. So you're still in Singapore. Why Singapore? Um, I came here because it was, you know, quote unquote, it, it was like the best healthcare system in the world. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't know, like I worked uh, with a company called Medilot last year. It's a artificial intelligence and blockchain company. Um, so mm -hmm. my goal was, so this is more widespread here in Asia than in America. It's one of the reasons I left New York City. Um, and I wanted to learn the technology to utilize it for naturopathic medicine, for precision medicine, integrative medicine. I needed to 
create credibility behind you, you know, utilizing all this data that we have of our microbiome, of our neurotransmitters, of our of the blood work that we do, but we, we segregate it into different body systems and then, you know, use a reductionist uh, conventional healthcare system to try to address it for profit driven reasons. And I knew that was all fucked up. So um, my purpose here was like the technology based component um, and how that's more, it was more allowed by the government here than in, in America, like Bitcoin and things of that nature. So um, but I've, util I've created all this information and now I'm just creating my own platform <laughs> because I've realized like, it doesn't matter how much I know, like, it's kind of like where you are. You're like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you um, have to make your own things and make your own economy, uh, make your own systems, yeah, otherwise yeah. you'll be stuck. So that's, that's a good thing though, you know, Wait, so, so what, Singapore is where that's where you're going to be forever? Is it is your your video is breaking up? My my video. Is